Good morning. It is Tuesday, June 1st. As you saw, today's devotion is called or titled Enter the Kingdom. Um, interesting place where God's got me right now, just really thinking about authority and establishing authority and what authority is to mean to me, what it is to mean, you know, how we should be viewing authority. Um, but today's word comes out of Matthew chapter 4, verse 23, and then we'll read Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. So Matthew 4.23, it says, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of disease among the people. And then if we look at Matthew 6.33, this is Jesus talking, uh, when people were talking, you know, he was talking about, he understood that people wanted things of this world. And he said, but to those that would, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So we're not to worry, we're to seek God and his kingdom. Um, and what what was going on here at the beginning, you know, in Matthew 4.23? Well, we know this, Jesus had come and been baptized, the Holy Spirit had descended upon him. As soon as that happened, then Jesus was led into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit. For like 40 days, Jesus is up there being tempted by Satan, right? He's hungry. He's alone. He has no one to comfort him, no one to um, to encourage him. He's left there by himself, destitute. And he's tempted not just by Satan, but also by self. Because Jesus understood authority. Jesus understood, see, he had authority. He himself had um, kicked Satan out of heaven because of pride and so here Satan now or Jesus now has entered into Satan's domain because he'd been Satan had been cast down this earth and had dominion over this earth as he does even now and um, Jesus had to enter into that see Jesus in heaven had authority over Satan but when the reason he came why did he even go to be tempted and do all this well because of this Jesus had to enter under the authority of Satan and reestablish authority over him in this dominion so that so Jesus's thing he what he had to do he had to do alone he had to engage completely in this battle with Satan if you will uh, and defeat Satan and reestablish that authority that he could overcome the temptations of this world that he could overcome the temptations of self and the temptation of pride and when he did that then everything changed for God for Jesus. Because after that, he immediately came down from there. The angels ministered to him. And that's when he went out and began preaching. And what message did he preach? Well, he first preached, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Or the, the time of the authority of the Messiah is here. And then that's what he continued to do. And so in Matthew 4.23 there, uh, what we see when, when Jesus says, um, when he says he was preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease, what exactly is that about? Well, it's this. It's it's about this. Uh, life is about authority, and we either take authority um, um, for ourselves, or we submit to authority. Now, since the beginning of time, the world it's all been a struggle of authority and power, and and that's what mankind wars for, right? That's what our wars are based around. It's about this plot of land or this or that and it's all about authority and who's in control and who has the power and dominion well we're not called to establish authority we're called to submit to authority see this is where everything should change for our mindset um, Jesus himself was not in authority of his own life he says that he only did, did you know when he was here on this earth he only did what he saw the father doing when his parents asked him, where were you? You see, they thought he'd gone out on his own authority and doing something. He said, did you not know I'd be about my father's business? God himself had drawn him out. And so what we have to understand is that even Jesus, you know, I even questioned yesterday, I believe it was, or may have been a couple of days ago, about the fact that Jesus had to wait 30 years to begin his ministry. What well, God had to bring all things to pass. Jesus was willing to do that because he had submitted to the authority of the father. That's what you and I are called to do. So we can't determine circumstances that we fall into. We can't determine, um, uh, you know, the ways that, uh, you know, are necessarily our paths in life. What we are to do is submit to the authority of God and walk the journey that he has placed right before us. See, it's not for me to determine that I'm going to, that's why the Bible says, don't say tomorrow we'll go do this and that. Because you don't know the mind of God. You don't know what God's got planned for your life. And so, if you do that, you're speaking out of self-will. 
And so, um, I'm not saying you don't make plans. But what I'm saying is you allow yourself to be flexible for when God changes those plans that you accept Him. You seek His face first. Seek first the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom, the authority of heaven. The authority of everything, the, the rule and establishment of that is beyond us. And um, that's that's what we're supposed to do. So my goal today or my encouragement to you is for you guys to enter into the kingdom. Uh, enter into the kingdom, the uh, submission of for the authority. You know, when you enter into the kingdom, think like back in the King Arthur days or whatever. When you entered into the kingdom, if they put up a, you know, they wouldn't allow swords to be carried within the within the borders of the, the castle wall, then you had to leave your sword at the gate. You had to submit to the authority of that kingdom and, and abide by their rules. And that's what we're called to do. But our kingdom's not one of men. Our kingdom's not one of a struggle for power, a struggle for authority. Um, it's not one that's based in pride or uh, self-ambition. It's one that's based in submission to the things of God. It's one that's firmly rooted in being poured out as a drink offering, just as Jesus was. See, when we seek God's face, then we see the beauty that lies therein, and we, we don't seek to honor ourselves anymore. Because his beauty is much more than we could even imagine. And all we're called to be is the reflection of that to the rest of the world. So I would just encourage you today. Be blessed. Submit to God's authority. Uh, stop trying to grab authority for yourself. And um, just um, be content in where God's got you in life. And see what he has to show you. And uh, when we are willing to do that then we will submit completely to the Father and be about His business. And when we do that, that's when we see really cool stuff happen. right? Why did Jesus heal diseases and miracles? It was because that was a demonstration of His power over the authority of this world. See, all the sickness and all the stuff that man is still struggling to find out reasons for why and how to fix and cure, Jesus could cure with just a word because He has complete authority over it. Now, we as His co-heir with Christ can step into that authority, but only only if that's what the Father calls us into. Jesus only did it when he, when the Father told him. He only did what he saw the Father doing. And so it's not about having power and establishing, our, establishing even ourselves in the authority of Christ. It's about being submitted to God and allowing Him to have complete authority over your life so that you're willing to endure the hardships, so that you're willing to step up when it's your time to be in authority or leadership. And it's whatever God wants to do and however he wants to do it. The goal is that you and I enter into that same mindset that we will walk completely with Christ and stay focused on him. That we will seek first the kingdom of God. Be blessed. Have a great day.